Hey, welcome back to the Clay 360. I think um, this is day 16 and 17, and uh, this may actually be like the third time I've narrated this video for some reason. I'm losing like the audio of it. I don't know why. Anyways, uh, so you know, if I skip parts of this, it's because I've said all this stuff like three times already. Um, anyways, um, uh, this is two days combined into one video. I started the day off with. Uh, with a little bit of wet clay work. Like I said, I lost some of the um, video of these um, bathroom dishes that may or may not make it into this load, but I was supposedly thought I was recording most of making them, but um, at least you get to see them being finished here. They're soap dishes um, and um, uh, soap dispensers, a few covered dishes, um, and some. Uh, some toothbrush holders um, for that. Um, but yeah, today we actually um, start glazing in what I call the messy side of the studio. And um, just give you a quick rundown of my glazing process. You know, everything gets waxed on the bottoms. Most everything gets a, a hot paraffin wax on the bottom, but other things like those sinks are going to get some uh, some brushed wax on the on there. Um, and everything gets a base glaze, a base chino glaze on it first. Um, just a quick dip for one layer. Um, the recipe for this chino glaze is on my blog, but um, it's, it's just basically a nice stiff glaze that takes the decals well, has a nice warm tone to it, has quite a bit of clay in it actually, and, um, and it, it meshes well with a lot of my other um, glazes that I like laying over top of this. Um, you know, I'll, I'll put various layers of dipped glazes over top and then a lot of layers of sprayed glazes over top of this. Uh, it's important that it's, um, it kind of plays well with others. So that's that. Um, after, um, after everything gets dipped um, in that glaze, then I'll, I'll tend to paint some stripes with um, wax resist um, so that I can either um, dip them again and make different layers of the chino or dip them in some other glazes, like uh, a nice off-white glaze. Um, usually looks nice with the chino, and um, and and also the sprayed glazes look kind of cool with the um, with the stripes on them. So that's what happens in the last part of this video. Um, really, I let this uh, the chino glaze dry overnight before I paint that wax stripe on them, and then I'll dip them again in whatever glazes, and then. Uh, and then I'll start spraying glazes the third day after that. Um, so that'll happen tomorrow. Uh, the big pots, um, like the sinks and stuff like that, I usually only glaze one side of them, the inside or the outside, one day, and then I let them completely dry. The next day, uh, I'll, I'll glaze the inside of them. This way that, that Chino has a time, because it has so much clay in it, has time to really dry out um, and adhere to the to the underlying bisque pretty well. So um, that's how I do the big stuff. Um, and that's about it. Um, I'm trying to remember what else is in this video here um, besides finishing it off those, those uh, things. Um, yeah, that's about it. So uh, next video should be spraying glazes. Um, my, um, my spray booth's just a uh, you know, one of those cheap plastic uh, shelving units that you get at Lowe's um, that I've completely closed off the back and the sides and the bottom and the top and installed a, um, a greenhouse fan in the back to suck all the overspray out. Uh, I like this spray booth because it's nice and big inside there. I can put more than one pot to spray um, and, uh, and that's that. Uh, Alright, yeah, I guess that's it. I'll uh, talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks.